For the equipment in this gym, I've separated the workout into four different sections. Let's begin with the first section, free weights. Using the gym's free weights is a great way to get an all-over fitness regime started. Sometimes it can be difficult to grip onto the free weights if your hand function is poor. Here I'm using some Active Hands gripping aids to help me hold the free weights. It attaches around the wrist and then over the hand. There are some handy bits to help you put it through with your fingers and it does up really tightly. The gripping aids allow you to hold the weights with your hand and they stay firm and secure in your hand while you do a workout. Just go through a few examples of free weight exercises that you can do. I'll be doing these ones in the chair. We can start with uh, bicep curls. Then we've got a shoulder press. It's always good to work using a mirror as well to see what you're doing, to check you're doing the right type of exercise and that your form when you're doing it is good. I'm feeling very confident holding this weight above my head. It's not going to slip at all. This is a straight arm shoulder raise. You might want to hold on to the other side of your chair just to get your balance. Now we're doing a tricep press. Uh, this weight's quite heavy for me for this exercise, so make sure you vary the weight according to what exercise you're doing. Um, uh, just doing all these ones with one weight just for the speed of showing you. Another good exercise is a bent over row. Uh, this really strengthens the back of your shoulders for the upstroke of a push on your chair. Some people may find it easier to work from a, a bench this one has got a solid back to keep you a bit more support and you're not likely to tip over like you could do in your chair. Again, there's this possibility of the same exercises. Uh, here I'm just using my hand to brace myself in the chair just to get a bit more balance. Here are a few handy hints and tips. Uh, when using the free weights, I often find it's useful to use the heavy use gripping wrap. This is another Active Hands product. Uh, it's a neoprene wrap which goes around the weight handle. It pads it out a little bit and it stops it from slipping even more and gives you a little bit more support and comfort. To avoid discomfort on the thumb when lifting heavy weights, try these thumb protectors. They just create a barrier between your skin and the weight itself and work really well with the other Active Hands products. Bench press is a great exercise for the shoulders and the triceps, but particularly for the pectoral muscles. I'm going to use somebody to help me spot here, because without a good hand function it's very difficult to balance the weight, and uh, without being able to grip it you don't want it to roll off onto you. I'm also finding it very difficult on this quite narrow bench to keep my balance when I'm trying to press. I prefer to be as independent as possible in the gym, but sometimes doing the bench press, using somebody to spot for you, can safely help increase the weight or repetitions. For other ways to do pectoral exercises, we'll use the machines shown in the next section. Before undertaking any exercise, always consult a doctor or medical professional for advice on your own condition and if you are safe to exercise and use gym equipment. To avoid muscle strains, both before and after exercising, you should get your body ready with a series of stretches. Ask a trained physiotherapist if you need advice on the stretches that will suit your condition. These exercises are just some useful examples of what can be done in the gym. Equipment and therefore the exercises you can do will vary from gym to gym.